Assalamu alaikum. I've got two questions to ask. The first one is that, why can't a Muslim girl get married to a non-Muslim guy and still follow Islam? And I've got one more question. As it is acceptable in Islam for a man that he can marry four times, do he have to inform the first wife about the second marriage? Or he can be, like he can marry without informing the first wife? This is the two questions she has asked. The first question she posed is that in Islam, is it compulsory that you should take the permission of the first wife before marrying the second wife? And the first question of hers was that in Islam, why can a man marry a non-Muslim girl? As far as the first question is... Like I'm sorry. It's like if a girl is born in a Muslim family, why she cannot marry a non-Muslim guy and still follow Islam? Why can't a girl who is born in a Muslim family marry a non-Muslim man and yet follow Islam? The reason is because it goes against the teaching of our Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Baqarah, chapter number 2, verse number 221, that do not marry a mushrik until he believes. Do not marry an idol worshipper. Do not marry a non-believer until he believes. Even a believer, even if he's a slave man, even if he's a bondsman, he's far better than a non-believer, than a mushrik man, than a non-Muslim man, even if he allows you. Means even if he may be the most handsome man in the world, he may be the richest man. And if he's a non-Muslim, a Muslim man who may be dark, who may be ugly, who may be a slave, is far superior. Similarly, the verse continues that for a man, he should not marry an unbelieving woman until she believes. A believing woman who is a slave woman is far superior than an unbelieving woman even if she allows you. The logical reason, sister, is that in a car or in a vehicle, if one tire is of a bicycle and the other tire is of a truck, so will the vehicle run? But naturally, no. All the four tires should be equal. And furthermore, you ask the question that can she be a good Muslim by marrying a non-Muslim? The reason is that in Islam, we want our spouse, our life partner also to go to Jannah. Now she has found the way to Jannah. She has found the way to paradise. That her paradise is in following Islam. She should follow the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. Now imagine when she knows that she is going to go to paradise and a husband who is doing idol worship, who doesn't believe in Islam, who is going to go to hell. This life, sister, is a small portion as compared to next life. This life, maybe you stay with the husband for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, how long? 60 years. The next life is eternal life. That means she's selfish. A good Muslim or a good Muslima. A good Muslim man or woman would also want that their spouse, the husband or wife, should also go to Jannah. So that is the reason it's important that both the husband and wife are Muslims. As far as the second question is concerned, is it compulsory for the Muslim man to take the permission of the first wife before he marries the second wife? It is not compulsory unless it is mentioned in the Nikanama. If it is mentioned in the Nikanama, in the marital contract, if the wife has said you should not take a second wife as long as I live, then it becomes compulsory. If it's not mentioned in the Nikanama, it is not compulsory. But at least he should inform her. Why? Only if he informs her one of the criteria to marry more than one wife. As the Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 3 is, marry woman of her choice in twos, threes or fours, but if you can't do justice, marry only one. So one of the criteria to marry more than one wife is you should be just between your wives. So if you do not inform your wife, how will you do justice between your wife? Maybe you'll tell lies that I'm going for office work, I'm going out of Bombay, you may not go. So therefore, if you marry a second wife, taking permission is not a must, it's not compulsory, but at least inform her so that you can do justice between both your wives. Hope that answers the question, sister. Thank you.